Alrighty, hello sisters and happy, happy Monday. Welcome back to H3 Ministries. Of course, a ministry for you, an adventure of faith for you to believe, behold, and become all God's created you to be in whatever season of life. All right, so it is Monday. You can see behind me, I have a pile of laundry going on over there. And then on the other pile is my Poshmark closet because there's the Poshmark closet. Um, I sell clothes on Poshmark and today uh, is the day that I'm going to be listing all my husband's clothes. So you know how Monday is. Monday keeps us busy, right? I had my carpets clean today and the furnace man came out to let us know we need a brand new furnace. So I was having high hopes we could get that fixed, but I guess not. Anyway, now I'm going to bring you ladies a message to get you grounded in what we are about to discover in the following week. So you know, if journeying along in faith with us, we are studying the whole month of October that God is faithful. He is faithful and our calendar shows us four different areas. So just last week, we were learning that God is faithful in our, in, in our crises and in our trials. And this week, we are going to learn that God is faithful in fulfilling his promises. And so in order to kick that off, I really wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a story because I think we really need to have a faith-filled perspective on this and know that God is faithful and he will fulfill his promises even when we are in a very doubtful time. And I feel as the holidays are approaching, like Thanksgiving and Christmas, some of us are thinking, well, I'm not going to have the Norman Rockwell perfect holiday. It's just not going to happen. I'm struggling with walking through grief right now, loss right now, health issues right now. Finances are going to be huge this holiday season. Family discord, family relationships. It's just hard. Broken family relationships, people that were hurt by others in the family. This can cause setbacks and, called def and cause deferred hope moments, deferred hope moments, which means you don't sense hope. You feel like you're in the middle of darkness. What I want to show you today is that God will fulfill his promises. And I want to share a story for you and I want uh, with you. And I want you to take this story and kind of decorate the rest of the week with it. I want you to think of this as the backdrop of the rest of the week. And I want to talk to you about Mary in the Bible in Luke chapter one. And I want you to think about her as we study all the scriptures this week. So maybe take notes or maybe read Luke chapter one this week. But I want you to take note on several scriptures in Luke about Mary. The first scripture being Luke 1 28. And it says here, greetings, you who are, you who are highly favored, the Lord is with you. First of all, sisters, I want you to know if you are a Christ follower, you are highly favored. God has a plan for you and he loves you and he's going to fulfill everything till the end. If you are a Christ follower and you believe that. And so here Mary is on a donkey on her way, first of all, very pregnant to have a baby on a donkey, going to pay taxes, and then needs to find a place because she's in labor, and then ends up in a dirty barn. Let me tell you, at that time, I can guarantee you, Mary was greatly troubled. I think that when we go through things in life, whether it's a health crisis, a finance crisis, relationship crisis, we can be highly troubled also. Then it goes on in Luke one thirty. 130 in Luke, it says, but this is my favorite part. And I want you to be thinking about this, that God's promises are true because the same thing with Mary, but the Holy Spirit will come over you and the power of the most high will shadow you. Amen. Now I bet you she was remembering that when, like I said, she was on her way to have that baby on a donkey and ended up in a barn that God's promises were, but the Holy Spirit will come over you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. That's a promise. And she had to remember that. So I want you to remember today that if you're walking through a trial and you need to remember a promise that God is faithful and the Holy Spirit will come over you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you in that moment of troubled seasons, anxiety, maybe being greatly feared. What am I going to do? What's going to happen? Where am I going to go? Now, if you read, wrote, if you read your verse today in Luke, we were talking about, I believe it was Luke, Luke chapter 12, uh, 13 through 34. We were reading about how the Lord takes care of even the ravens. 
and that we are not to worry. Well, I can guarantee you Mary was worrying a little bit, and so she had promises to rely on. The next thing is, I love that in in this whole verse, I, the thing that jumped out to me with Mary is that the power of the over of the Most High will overshadow you. Overshadowing means covering you and protecting you and leading and guiding you. And I believe that's what God wants. He's defined a certain hope for you. Now, he did not say on this side of heaven that once we're saved and we're Christ followers, that all problems were going to be exempt. We are still going to hit tribulations, but he's leaving us with promises and promises that will not remain void. And that's really important to us for us to understand. Understand. And the last part of this verse that I loved, and this is so, I, th- write this down somewhere, ladies, but in Luke chapter 145, it says, blessed is she, blessed is she who believed that God would fulfill his promises to her. Blessed is she that believed that God would fulfill his promises to to her. Do you believe that God's going to fulfill his promises to you? That is exactly what we're studying all week. And I thought Mary was such an example because we see three different things. I'm sharing different parts of God's promises to her here. I want to leave you with that as kind of like a banner over all of this week's verses. And so be encouraged that if you're in a season of ashes, there's going to be beauty for ashes because God promises us that because God promises us that there is some sort of promise in your mess. There is a message in your mess. That promise, that story becomes beautiful. It becomes somebody's hope. And so as God is preparing you, you are going to learn to defeat the enemy. You are going to learn to stand stronger and walk through your story so you can tell your story. That's love. And God's going to captivate you and then catapult you out there to share. He loves you so much and he has a huge plan for you. And all of his promises are going to give you faith-filled perspectives. And so let's hold on as we walk this week learning about what his faith-filled promises are and what he wants to deliver to our faith. What type of uh, hope does he want to give us as we continue on the adventure of faith? So again, if you are new, welcome ladies. We do monthly themed Bible studies here. We do events here um, and I guide you through that adventure of faith Monday through Sunday as your pastoral teacher. I also have amazing coaching sessions available. If you feel like you're in that place where your ashes just keep staring back at you and you don't know how to move forward, allow me to coach you and help you to get to the other side so you can begin to see that the hope you have is for others to experience God's love. And the hope that you have will come up when you begin to see the beauty in your ashes. And so may Mary minister to you this week. Take a minute to read Luke chapter one because she's a great example, somebody to keep close by as we enter, like I said, into Thanksgiving and Christmas when we feel like everything just has to be put in order. And when life has us out of order, we feel like we're walking through more mud or I always like to say peanut butter. We're like treading through something and you just wanna go, don't wanna move anymore because you just feel stuck. And it's so hard to lift one foot after the other. So take time, know that you are highly favored, and know that these promises are all for you. Subscribe, hit the bell button so you know when I all my messages are up this week and you'll be notified. And I'm excited to just walk with you in an adventure of faith this week. Blessings, and I'll talk to you ladies later. Bye-bye.